has four years of trash. What's in it? So now I've emptied out my entire jar of trash from the past four years and now we will go through everything and see what's actually in there. Everything in my mason jar is made of plastic and it's plastic that isn't currently recyclable in the New York City recycling program. So the first big pile here is clothing tags from the inside of clothing. It's usually washing instructions and material information. And even if the clothing is made of a natural material, these are usually made of a synthetic material. The next is, these are the little desiccants that keep vitamins fresh. I eat really healthy now, and so I don't take vitamins anymore. But when I did, these were always in the containers. Next is saran wrap and a plastic sticker, not recyclable in New York City. Tons of produce stickers. So I shop at the farmer's market now because I want to avoid plastic produce stickers, but some of them are made of plastic. Why they're not all made of paper, which is compostable, I don't know. The next is a credit card. These are all plastic price tag holders that connect the price tag to a piece of clothing. Even though I shop completely secondhand, Clothing that is secondhand still has these price tags on it. These are lids from vitamins or apple cider vinegar, um, which I buy in containers. This is all gaffer's tape from photo shoots that I've had at my house when film crews have come in. Unfortunately, I tell them not to use this, but sometimes they do. These are all plastic straws. Even though every time I order a drink, I ask for it without a straw sometimes because it's just the way that bartenders do things. Um, straws will find their way into my drink and so I take them with me to put into my trash jar. This is more saran wrap. These are both hair accessories. So this is a hair tie that broke and this is a piece of a hair clip that also broke. This is a curtain pull. It's actually made of cotton, so technically I could compost it. Good thing we're going through this. This is a synthetic bow from a bra because I cut it off because I thought it was not the most attractive. These are band-aids, both made of plastic. This is a sock from trying on shoes. Even though I didn't want to uh, wear it, the woman took it out of the box and said that I should use it and I decided not to try on the shoes and I asked her if she was going to reuse this and she said no, so into the jar it went. These are just random bits of plastic. These are the bane of my existence. This is what happens in the summer. Anytime I go to a music festival um, or even when I do speaking engagements at different festivals, I have to wear a wristband and these are all made of synthetic material and they will go right to landfill. This is all packaging from different types of food. I don't buy packaged food anymore, but when I was transitioning to a zero waste lifestyle, uh, these sometimes happened. And then the last thing is just different pieces of ribbon from gifts that people got me. Uh, most people in my life now either don't buy me presents or buy me things like plants that grow, but sometimes something like this will sneak in there and then it goes right into the jar. So. This is all of my trash from the past four years, all plastic, and I love that it highlights specific trash problems that might not be a huge problem in people's eyes in the scheme of trash, but still are representing things that are going into landfill that we need to focus on. So here are some problems, let's find some solutions. For more videos, head to my YouTube channel or my blog, trashesfortossers.com.